Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing my first impressions of the new Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Collection. I was waiting for my order for a long time. I was waiting for almost two weeks, so the shipping was very, very slow from Pat McGrath. So I did not purchase everything. I like the $125. Eyeshadow palette. That one um, is not exactly new. Um, I don't know how I have that with me. I didn't want to spend that much. But I do have her new um, quad. This one right here. Oh no, sorry. This is the highlighter. Sorry. Uh, the new quad. This one right here. And the packaging. I still have the packaging for my uh, Pat McGrath products that I ordered a long time ago. I love her packaging. And also the new highlighter. I am so excited to use this one. You know, I've been collecting highlighters uh, lately. So before I'm going to do my makeup tutorial, so my first impressions about the new Pat McGrath Labs collection. If you like to watch makeup reviews, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. If you're a makeup enthusiast, if you're a makeup lover like myself, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Click the bell to be notified every time I upload my videos. Now, let's get into the video. This is the unique carton of the uh, new quad. I heard the shades in here are new. Um, she came out with Divine Rose Palette. I don't know how long ago. I'm just going to post a picture maybe here in the middle, which is a thing. That one is more of a cool tone um, eyeshadow palette. And then the Divine Rose 2, which is the new, not exactly new, but the one she um, included in the collection. It's not exactly new, but it's more like a pinky uh, palette. I do not have both palettes, guys. I didn't want to spend that much, you know. It is ugh, expensive. So, I got the new quad right here. I heard also the shades in here not, not exactly the same as her... Um, bigger palettes so are those divine rose palettes that you know, they're expensive $125 each so i got the 58 dollars so i purchased everything from the website like i mentioned guys in my intro the shipping took a long time so this one is the packaging very uh, same packaging as the uh i do have one of her um the her big palette so i I think um, the packaging is not exactly the same. It feels really, really lightweight. I mean, it's $58. And this one only has four shades. This is a quad. 58 is a lot. She offered 10% off, so I used my 10%, but still pricey. So, Pat McGrath is a luxury brand. I love the products that I purchased from Pat McGrath. So, you know, no regrets right here okay so i got the shades in here really cool tone shades i was hoping for you know blush palettes or maybe you know blushes but you know i think i'm gonna use this one as my blush tool let's see try this one uh see guys two matte shades and two shimmery shades oh this one's gonna be really very very shimmery and then i also have the highlighter i dropped this highlighter guys i thought that um i we got shattered oh my goodness oh. okay so i'm glad that did not okay so this is the highlighter doesn't feel like expensive though the packaging feels really lightweight like plastic packaging but this one is made in italy this is this one is made in um made in the usa and um imported ingredients so the her bigger palettes those like made in italy so this one's different made in the usa imported and imported ingredients so maybe some ingredients are not made in the us away and then this one is made in italy and this one is good for 18 months as you can see guys looks really basic a rose pink shade and this one kind of similar to the um highlighter from natasha dinona which i recently did my first impressions on my channel so i'm gonna compare this one with the natasha dinona highlighter i'm gonna swatch both so you see you know, guys can see if they're the same or it's similar so i already did my um eyes I already my eyes. i already primed my eyes i'm gonna go and use this one i'm gonna go i'm gonna start with my makeup tutorial right now 
and then I'm starting off with this Colton Brown shade. This is called a Think Forbidden Fruit. This one right here. So $58 for this quad is expensive. And you know, Pat McGrath. Ooh, ooh. So I think I'm gonna apply this one um all over my lid. And I'm gonna do like a V. I look today like always and this one is a little bit powdery so I'm just gonna use this one as a base and as my transition shade as my everything and this is so pretty Ooh. I'll be taking this shade this I think this is earthly divine and this is a ooh, metallic shade Ooh, pretty Pretty, pretty so I'm just gonna use my finger first because you know that's how I always do that's how I always apply my shimmers and my metallic shades and um, I don't see any uh, special shades from the palette you know what I'm gonna do right now is use this one as uh, my liner I love Pat McGrath Sorry about the noise outside. Pat McGrath products. I do not buy Pat McGrath products all the time because they are very, very expensive and I cannot really afford to buy Pat McGrath products all the time. So that's why you know I don't review the products here on my channel. They're pricey. Not pricey, but they are very expensive. And I do not make money here on YouTube, you know. So moving on, I'm gonna apply this as my wing light ooh, liner. Then I'm gonna use this double chrome pink champagne shade and I'm just gonna apply this like next to this um shade. It's like going to be like my highlight. And as you can see, oh it's so pretty. There you go guys, so I'm just gonna put on false lashes. I have false lashes to try on and I'm so excited for my false lashes. So, okay, so I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera. Put on false lashes, my foundation, concealer from Pat McGrath. And I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup and then my final thoughts. So I also use the Dose of Colors pencil on my lower lashes. This purple like plummy shade. Then um, I'm going to compare the highlighter from the Natasha Denona Lab collection. So this is the highlighter. I don't know if you can see. It's a pink shimmery shade this one's also made in um, italy this is the pat mcgrath labs divine rose highlighter so this is a oh, it's dry, feels a little dry feels dry yeah and i think it feels like also a baked highlighter and this is the pat mcgrath as you can see the pat mcgrath is more more gold then the um, Natasha Rina, this one's pink, this one's gold with a little bit of pink undertone to it. Feels like, um, yeah, it's a little bit more darker too. Okay, so now I am wearing this pink color from the eyeshadow palette, you know, Pat McGrath. I'm still waiting. We are all waiting for you to come up with blush palettes or blushes. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this uh, blush and this is a uh, pink matte blush. I'm just gonna apply this one lightly because this is very pigmented. It's an eyeshadow, so it's very pigmented. Move on with the uh, highlighter and I'm gonna use this brush from Milani Cosmetics. So it has a mirror. Oh wow. Oh, this is definitely a metallic 
highlighter not very uh, shimmery and um ooh, this is pretty I am done and then I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts about this new Pat McGrath collection, the quad, I like the packaging, like the formulation, the colors are really really pretty, but I have to say though, um, they're not ex uh, there's nothing special to these shades, I mean if you like to use soft um, pink shades, if you like Pat McGrath products, um if you don't want you know if you don't like to spend 125 dollars i highly recommend this one guys i mean if you just like to try out the quad or the formulation um from pat mcgrath i actually really like this one not my favorite product that i purchased from from pat mcgrath the shades were very actually really nice very easy to use um i just Felt like um, $50 a lot, but um, yeah, pretty, 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 like a really soft um, matte look. And the highlighter, this has got to be my favorite one from Pat McGrath. Oh my goodness, I love this soft metallic shade and it doesn't look like you know, I'm wearing a powder highlighter because it you know, it melts into the skin, um, doesn't look cakey and powdery on me, um, I feel like if you have textured area right here, it might emphasize the textured area, but, I um, mean, guys, I don't have textured skin, I have, like, acne bone, but I also have acne scars, so not so much of textured skin, but overall, I really like like this one this has got to be my favorite one um that i purchased from the new collection so yeah i really like this one and also i'm also really glad that this one doesn't look the same as the highlighter from natasha dinona which is more like a pink highlighter it's like a soft champagne with a little bit of gold chitin it's a little bit darker at least on my skin tone so those are all my thoughts and let me know if you purchased anything from natasha dino or natasha dino pat mcgrath and this is the end of my video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel i hope i don't have lipstick on my teeth right now if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you all on my next video Bye bye